the Wi-Fi 7 standard is getting more popular every day, and I assume many of you will want to upgrade their existing adapter or simply add one to a tower that doesn't have Wi-Fi at all. The process itself is not difficult at all, and should be pretty much the same as with any other adapter. I finally managed to get my hands on a Qualcomm-based Wi-Fi 7 adapter from MSI, and I have been playing around with the Intel B200, but the results were below satisfactory. You can see that they look very similar, but one will work only with Intel PCs, while the Qualcomm-based one should work with both AMD and Intel systems. The adapter does come with the antenna and the Bluetooth cable which we will need to attach separately. But before anything can be done, we do need to turn off the power to the PC, not just set it in sleep mode, and then open the side of the case. I did not have a separate Wi-Fi adapter installed, but if you do, it is necessary to remove that one first. Now let's identify the correct slot. I have a couple of PCIe slots available, while the last one got covered by the huge GPU, and one is X16, the other is X1. And I decided that it's better to go with the X1, since I may use the X16 for something else in the future. Don't worry though, because you can use either of them, they'll work fine. Now take out the screw and the protective piece, and try to insert the Wi-Fi 7 adapter into the slot. As you can see, I had some trouble getting it fully inserted, and the reason why that happened was because of the way I did the cable management. The cable from a fan was in the way. To solve this problem, I simply moved the cable to the side a bit to be able to push the adapter all the way in. Then, use the same screw and tightly attach it to the adapter. If you don't need Bluetooth, you can stop here, but it would be a shame not to take advantage of it. So properly insert the provided cable on the side of the Wi-Fi 7 adapter and then, as the manual says, we need to find a USB 2.0 connector on the motherboard. I had several available nearby, but if you're in doubt about which one are suitable, just search for the connectors that have the same pattern as on the cable. Usually, you'll also see the USB header written on the motherboard near them as well. It's actually really hard to miss them. Insert the cable and tuck it however best you can. I did a terrible job at it. We're not done yet because the antenna cables need to be connected as well. And you'd be surprised how many people forget about this last step. The antenna comes into two pieces which get attached together and then simply rotate the two connectors into the right place. It doesn't matter which goes where. That's about it. Reattach the side of the PC and power it up. Also, don't forget that you need to have either Linux or Windows 11 to be able to take advantage of the 6GHz radio using a Wi-Fi 7 adapter. That's about all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.